girls. They, they are on their e-learning, so I'm showing you the first <coughs> how I'm making mine. So in here is just hot water, some uh, Lipton tea. It's just a lip, Lipton tea bag. And I, I scored some lemon juice in there a little bit. And then I cut up some some fresh ginger. So that's what you see in here. And then I sweetened it with monk fruit. And so this is what I'm having for the first thing that we're going to have today before breakfast. Ooh. This is the first piece of fresh air that I get to breathe. I almost ran away from the camera, y'all. Like, I was just getting to a point where I was just, I guess, feeling defeated. Like, oh, my God. I mean, I'm a strong person. I get it. Like, I, I go through a lot, and I just get through and I, I remain positive and I <clears throat> and I just keep moving forward but I feel like I'm pushing I'm praying until something happens but the more I pray it's like the devil is busy it's like it's like he just keep coming for me and I'm a strong person but sometimes it get heavy It get heavy. And I literally made one decision, one decision that brought all this about. <sighs> I'm saying that to say that we got to be careful in our decision making and the things that we do in life because sometimes it only take one time just one time one simple mistake one bad decision one time to engage in activities with somebody without protection to catch HIV to get pregnant and only take one time one time to pull a trigger and take somebody's life. It only take one time. But it's like, in life, we have to live with those decisions that we make. And the crazy thing about it, I was feeling like I shouldn't do it. Yeah, I was feeling like I should not send them. And I was kind of nervous about sending them. And for one reason and one reason only. And that's because where I'm sending them is young, young people. Not teens, but young people. And young people don't always do the right things. I don't really see my friends or be around people like that. And, you know, young people going to see their friends. And they're going to be around them and things like that. And I don't blame them because I'm the adult. I'm the, I'm the mom. And I made this decision. And now I got to live with it. So... But it get heavy. That's I mean, I'm on my way to back to Walmart last night. They were closed on me. Kroger was the only thing open, but they didn't have everything I needed, the stuff I needed from Walmart. I've been checking the girls' temperatures and they're slightly 
they're not in 98 okay and 98 is what i know it's safe so i started getting a little nervous jazz was at 99.6 coco was at 99.9 but you guys don't know because i've never talked about it before coco had a fever and it sent her into a seizure before so we have not had those episodes again like in years many years so but i'll never forget it so i also know that the, the seizure was triggered by the fever so these type of things are going on in my head and that was another reason why i know y'all seen in the last video where i was talking about i'm bringing my kids home like i'm bringing them home because i i can take care of them and i can sleep better at night knowing that they're okay and everything possible is being done i know i know oh she would have done that she's in nursing school i know she would have done that but i refuse to allow that burden to sit on her and i refuse to be a mother sitting here guessing and and worrying no no that's not gonna happen I'm sorry, but uh, that's not going to happen. I have to contact the airline and let them know to tell everybody that was on the flight um, that somebody on the flight had it or whatever. And then uh, from there, I don't know. I mean, they wasn't around anybody else. I literally got them off the plane and went directly to get tested and they've been home ever since except coco rode with me a, a couple places that i went and she went to walmart with me i had her double masked was she double masked she went to walmart with me um, she wasn't showing any symptoms. And so... So that's why... Um, I took her with me thinking that everything was okay. But she did have her mask on at all times. Um... So, I guess I should just start driving so I can get there. Just a lot on my mind, y'all. Like, keep us. I, I know I've been asking. It seems like I ask y'all for prayers every video. I can't make this stuff up. This is my life. Like, I can't make this stuff up. It's a lot of stuff that go on that y'all don't see. Like, I was talking to my home girl and she told me you need to write a book i'm like girl i can't make this stuff up i cannot But I know I'm going to get through it. And I'm going to continue to pray. I'm going to continue to hold on to my faith. But we literally had to like pump our brakes and use bill money to handle all this stuff. Because it got to be done. Like, we now, I'm trying to take care of them and keep myself safe. How can you social distance in a room that's so small? And I feel bad because Coco like to be up under us. And we have to keep telling her, go over to your bed. You know, we this is about as separate as we can be. Me and Jazz are sleeping probably three feet apart, if that. We wear masks 24 hours a day. We sleep in them. Only time I get a like a little breathing break is when I get in the car. This stuff, you guys, is so 
heavily contagious. If me and Curtis make it out of this without catching it, it was by the grace of God. And it's because of how much cleaning, bleaching, and sanitizing that I'm doing. We, I don't even, we're not even using dishes, y'all. I got plastic spoons, plastic forks, paper plates, bowls, whatever they might need. That's it. There's no drinking, eating, or anything. Everything we use go to the garbage. And I'm going to tell y'all, I haven't talked to, to my kids about it. And by the time y'all see this video... It's probably going to be a few days later, and hopefully these feelings is gone away. But I don't feel right. I feel weird. I was feeling weird. <coughs> I was feeling weird after the first day that they was here, that they came home. I went to bed that night. The next day, I was feeling weird. I can't describe it. Yeah, that next day, I was just feeling, I don't know, like tingles or something. And then today, you know, I kind of got up with like a little belly ache, a little cough. Not bad, just a little cough. And um, my eyes were so, I had a bunch of boogers in my eyes, like. Like, the liquid was just drying up on my face. I don't know. <sighs> but, I don't know. I just, I just needed to talk about that. Um, but I am doing, I'm going to vlog it. I decided to go ahead and vlog it. I talked to Jazz to see how she feel about me talking about it and everything. Um, when I first recorded her results. And, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what God trying to tell me. I don't know. I just don't know. I mean, so far... It's been between me and my daughter just from them coming home to to uh, going to purchase all the things that I need to take care of them and to try to keep me and Curtis safe. We are well into 500 and something dollars that had to be spent. It's a lot. And... It sucks because we had the plan to be out of here before Christmas. And these setbacks continuously keep happening. He's exposed, so he can't go to work. I'm shutting the website back down. The orders that I did get in, that pre-sale stuff, it has not arrived to me yet. So we still good there. I don't have to worry about that because I'm not trying to contaminate anybody. And I don't even know if that's a thing. I Just me being safe and precautious, I have to sit down for two weeks. But again, the pre-sale items, I have not received them yet. So we are in the clear on that. And... I'm not going to stop it from coming. Definitely not because I want to get these out as soon as possible. But over the course of the next two weeks, I'm basically in quarantine. Uh, just because of exposure or whatever. So. That's that. I'm going to go ahead and get off. I think I've talked to y'all for a very long time at this point and let's just get back into the vlog uh I, like i said i will show you guys what i'm doing what has to be done and how we're trying to survive this thing and i pray to god that i come out and curtis come out continue to be negative 
and that everything that I'm doing is working. But y'all, the way my <laughs> chest feel and stuff, I feel like I don't know if everything that I'm doing is enough. Is this shit is real? Like it's, I've always known it was, and I didn't play with it. That's why I don't be around people. But I don't want to get into all that. But we just gonna pray that the hand washing, the the sanitizing, the Lysol spray, and all of these measures that I'm taking actually work. Okay, we we gonna pray for that. But let's just get back to the vlog. Okay, guys, we've made it to Walmart. Let's go. So I came right to the baby section because I know that's where the monitors are. This is the one that I'm using right now. But it's for the mouth. And since they were positive, we were negative to be on the safe side. I didn't think it would make sense to use that one. So I'm going to get this one. Spending more money, extra money. And again, should have followed my first mind because I originally was thinking I should get this one. But I was trying to budget and that one was 10, this one was 20. So I was trying to budget. And here I am again. Um, I still can't find the box of masks because I have them to change the mask out every day. That is one of the measures that we're taking. They need an orange. They need their vitamin C. You know, got that. And then I picked up one more of these. Okay, I gotta go get some propel water. <coughs> that will help keep us hydrated. I also need to get some fresh cinnamon and some zinc. I keep hearing about zinc, so I'm definitely gonna go get that too. <clears throat> Let's see where we at right now. I'm looking for the water. I got Gatorade last night, and so I don't need to get any more of that, but I do want to get the hotel. They are charging $9 for this. This is bananas. I'm just going to get that one because that's the only one that I see and I'm not very familiar with it. So, Okay, you guys. After much research, this, this, this one is the off-brand of this. Now, this one says to suck the, basically suck on the tablet. Don't chew it. This one says chew the tablet. So here's the problem though. I'm not sure if Coco will understand the concept of not chewing it. Not sure if she could do that. But I'm gonna go with the name brand and 
try first before I spend the money on this. Because this one's $5, this one's $9. So I don't know. But I'm going to try this thing. They have a nasal one here. This one. But I know she's not going to do that. That's definitely not going to work. Oh, wait. They got gummies, I think. Is this a gummy? Oh, elderberry. Oh, this looks nasty. Oh, so let me let me read a little bit. See what this is all about. You want to dissolve it completely before you swallow. See, that's too much. Just to be on the safe side, I just went ahead and got them both because Coco may not be able to do that chewing, that sucking it until it completely dissolves. And I feel like if she's, if we just get her the kind that she could chew, that then I'll be better off that way because, um, I just don't know. I feel like it's just the best. Just get her the one that she can chew. I looked at the inactive ingredients, and they have some of the same ingredients, but some of them they don't. So that tells me that it's important to completely dissolve it. So I'm going to go ahead and get them both. Let me head to the register, you guys. I'm not going to record this part because I'm just trying to get out of here. I still have to go find gloves. This is my dang on total. See? I did pick up a few extra groceries as well. God, dog. Oh. Let I'm so tired. That was a lot. But I got all the medicines that they need. I got all the fruits, um, like vitamin C, all that stuff. They already have vitamin, multivitamins that they take every day anyway. And it was came out to be $96. I picked up a few groceries as well. Um... And while $96 may not be a lot of money to y'all, it's a lot of money to me. It's a lot of money. Every penny counts um, when you're in my situation. Um, like every dime counts. So I oh, just did what I had to do. I'm trying to stay focused on my eating because I noticed I start stress eating. Yesterday, I was stress eating. It was snacking sweets. That is what happened. And I am so glad that, oh, excuse me, y'all, this hair is too much. It's probably how I ended up without my wig <laughs> last night. But um, I know that, what is that sound? I think it's that door but anyway uh i know notice i'm just very happy that i'm aware of what's happening with my body like oof. i'm just glad that i'm aware and that i can honestly like speak on that because if you if you are aware you can fix it and i noticed that like i just been stress eating and it's sweets I'm just always want a snack and it need to be something sweet or crunchy like so i acknowledge that and i'm trying to stay on task even though like i'm just annoyed i probably feel like this first week is gonna be the most stressful for me because i know that that first week is when things either stay the same or they they gradually get worse so i'm trying to head that off honey i got every piece of medication or whatever under the sun that is going to help um every vitamin every i think i'm doing it all um just so that we don't have any worse symptoms going on like we want to keep everything where it's at and i have uh 
I, I just have to try to stay focused. I'm going to go weigh myself just to see how I did this week. I completely forgot about it. I was supposed to weigh myself, I think, yesterday. What was it today? I don't know. I don't know. Either way, I'm going to go weigh myself today. I'm just going to go check it out and see how I'm doing. I'm not dressed in the same thing I normally weigh in. I really don't care, to be honest. I don't care. I'm just going to go get on this scale and see exactly what the scale says and um, give me some kind of motivation to stay on track. That's the way I'm thinking, so I can stay on track. Where I get on the scale at is right by uh, one of the stores that I need to stop at to try to find some more masks. I'm, I'm struggling to find masks, so I'm on my way there and yep let's go y'all let let go let go <laughs>